This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. So today, guys, I have a massive legal transport pack to take a look at. This mod can be found over at lsfarming-mods.com. There will be a link in the description below. And you will need to sign up and register for an account over at that site in order to be able to download this mod. But I can tell you there are several other really great mods over there at the site. So it is definitely going to be well worth signing up and registering. This mod pack consists of three trucks. We have a hook lift truck here. Then we have a dual axle truck and a single axle truck. And then this mod also includes five trailers. We have two pull behind trailers, tr traditional trailers. One with three axles, one with two. We have two dolly trailers, one with two axles and one with three. And then the last trailer this is an interesting beast. This is for the purpose of hauling a hook lift module. As you can see, we're not transporting it in the traditional sense. We've seen hook lift trailers before that themselves are hook lifts. This one is just a flatbed, if you will, that you unload the hook lift bin onto. We're going to take a closer look at that here in a little bit. Let's go ahead and kind of dive on into store options on these things because these trucks and trailers have more options than I have seen on any other particular mod. So here in the shop if we go to vehicles the transport pack has its very own category here called the transport pack. If we go in here we'll see our three trucks the two axle single axle and the hook lift variant Then we have the Flegel TDK Flegel DK the TMK and the MK trailer, and then we have the, the Hofferman SW180 trailer. So let's go here to the TGX 2600 for $140,000. This truck has 440 horsepower, can hold up to 30,000 liters of product, and as you can see, it holds all of the standard in game fill types Farm Sim 19. So as far as configuration options, we have the ability to change the rim color on all of these trucks, as well as the dump color and the cabin color. We also have the ability to change the cover color. We're going to see the cover here in just a moment. Down here we have the dump board. We have standard. We have a short front wall. You can see that makes this wall shorter. Let's go back to standard. Short front wall, extra dump boards, and now this is where we see the cover, and this is where we get the 30,000 liter capacity, because with the short walls, we're only at 15,000 liter capacity. Then we have the platform without stanchions. We have a platform with stanchions, platform with back door, and back to standard. As far as wheel brands, we have Lizard. You can then get this in a standard configuration or steering axle. We have Michelin in standard or steering axle. Nokian standard or steering axle. Trelleberg standard or steering axle. And back to Lizard. Then we have the choice of horns. And there are several horn options. I'm not going to go through all of them and listen to them all. I'll let you guys explore which horn you all might like the best. If horn one, two, air horn one, air horn two, air horn three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have a lot cucaracha horn. And back to horn one. We can go with no hand tools. Let's go here to this side. Take a look right here in this area. So we have no hand tools. 
can get a broom. We can get a shovel. Get a broom and a shovel. Back to no hand tools. As far as mirrors go, we have the configuration of standard, painted, chrome, front fender. See, this is kind of a black plastic. We can go with standard or painted. Back fender. We have the black plastic. We can go standard or painted. Under run protection. That's this. We can go with standard or painted. You could really just paint all of those. Same as our cabin color. We have glass deco. No or yes. What that does is it puts a little, little bit of decoration there on the side glass. You can see that on both passenger and driver's side there. We have special design, and this basically trumps everything else that we have selected to date. We have standard, which allows us to customize all of this. We have then a transport company kind of logo, kind of set up here. We have a green, kind of metallic green. Blue set up, and this is how we have the hook lift truck. Dark blue. Snooky pink. LS Farming Dash Mods, kind of a green, I guess. Then back to standard. Then we have our engine configurations, the TGX 26.440, 440 horsepower, 480 for 480 horsepower, 640, 640 horsepower, the 680 V8, and then adds a little V8 logo here to the front, 680 horsepower, then back to the 440. So all of the trucks basically have that same configuration option going for them. See here is the two axle variant. I don't think we need to cycle through all of those. Uh, some of the notable differences. This truck will hold 18,000 liters or 8,000 liters as an option. We have the hook lift variant. Again, has all of those configuration options that the other trucks had with them. Let's go to the trailers here. Trailers are rather interesting. If we go with, again, we have the dump color. We have cover color and rim color. Okay. You know, standard, short wall, extra dump boards, which is where we get the cover. Then we can go with platform without sanction. We have Blizzard, Michelin, Nokian, Trelleberg Wide, or Standard. Tire options. We have hand tools. Yes, no, both. Manual support arm or automatic. So what that is, is the jack stand here. You can have this set to manual so that we have to raise and lower the jack by ourselves. Or we can have it set to automatic, so when we connected and disconnected, the jack ran itself up and down by itself. Standard design. You can also kind of get these in the uh, in the color schemes that the trucks are in. Let's go back to that. Green, blue, dark blue, snarky pink, and LS Farming Mods. Dolly variant of that holds 15,000 or 30,000 liter capacity. You have the larger trailer version, holds 25,000 liters as configured with the short walls, or 40,000 liters as configured with the tall walls. Same tire options as before. Let's go to this, and we have a new configuration option, 
for our flatbeds, which is rather interesting. We can change the tension belt orientation from left to right or front to back. So let's lease this front to back one because I actually don't have a front to back one up here to show you guys. You have the Flegel MK, which is the larger dolly variant. And you'll see that the tension belt option only comes up when we have it in platform without stanchions, platform with stanchions, platform with back door. Those are the only times that those tension belt options come up. Then we have the Hofferman. Uh, this one we basically have just the option of a color, main color, and the rim color. Let's, here we have, so here we can see the straps are in a left to right orientation. Let's jump down here to the shop. And we'll see these straps in a front to back orientation. The back. Mod author basically says that in this configuration, it is intended for round bale transport. So you can strap all the round bales down. Whereas the other configuration is obviously more intended for square bales or pallets. That is a pretty interesting option. We can go from left to right, or we can go from front to back. Now let me show you this other trailer. And how this is going to work with the hook lifts. up to that we can use our right mouse button up and down to raise and lower the tongue okay let's pull up here let's disconnect and on the hook lift truck we're going to need to change our unloading type. Right now you can see in the F1 menu we have it set to unload type ground. So if we bring our arm back. See it goes back here like it's ready to pick up this container from the ground. Like so. What we want to do is we want to change it so it's unload type trailer. So we can't do that unless we have the arm fully retracted. And then we want to hit U. I'm oh, sorry, V. Now we're at trailer. Let's extend our arm. Now you'll see it doesn't go all the way down. Now we can hook up to this and basically wheel it off of that trailer onto the truck. Like so. And then if we want to put it on the trailer, basically back up to the trailer here. Make sure that we're fairly square on it. And we just retract, extend, as he rolls it out onto the trailer. Now, what I have found is if you're going to pull this in a tandem type situation with another hook lift, you need to not basically be all the way to the back of the trailer here, or you won't be able to turn. 
This trailer does have some kind of a little dip here for these wheels to kind of sit and recess into. You can just disconnect. And what we can do is we can retract the arm, change it to ground with our V, extend the arm again to pick up this module. Now we have a module that's kind of front to back and back to front. Bind a little bit. Could have probably pulled forward a little bit more. There you go. And of course, in order to empty the rear container, you're going to need to raise that up that ought to help in order to empty the rear container you're going to have to repeat the entire process so it's pretty good for transporting i would say you probably don't want to use this to sell grain simply because it's going to be a bit of a uh, kind of a pain to sell let's listen to this horn <laughs> Okay, so that's one of the horns. Let's check out the lights. So we have front stage lights. We we'll have, do have side lights. Front, first stage lights, side lights. Third stage lights are kind of the uh, bright lights. Four ways with reverse lights. Left and right. Beacons, the interior here, dash does illuminate. And all of the trucks are pretty much the same as far as their lights interior go. I want to show you this manual um, manual jack. So when we attach, you see X, support arm up. So you see we have attached, we do have hoses and all of that, but the jack stand is still down. Hit X, go up. Hit X again, it'll drop. So if we raise it and we disconnect the trailer, well, it's going to fall on the ground because we didn't lower our jack. So that is the manual jack stand on that. The trailers, we have tip side back, tip side left, tip side right, and a grain door. Nice, slow, smooth animation. Let's listen to this horn. This is the one that has, also has the window decorations on it. So you see those from both inside and outside. Also have the nice broom and shovel there on the back. Just extra decorative items. Let's go over here to the third truck. We have another horn. So guys, that is it. That is the Flegal Transport Pack. Again, you can find this mod over at ls farming-mods.com 
it has an incredible amount of configuration options, lots of variety. Uh, there should definitely be a truck and trailer combination for you in this pack. So let me know in the comments, what do you think of the Flegel Transport Pack? And until next time, happy farming. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell.